Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, we're going to do a very quick, very light gaming on the Surface Go video. So this is not going to be something where we go in depth and uh, I show you all the frame rates and all the settings and everything, but I want to give you a taste of, of what you can do on the Surface Go and what you can't. So here I have uh, Steam running, and I'm playing a game called Burnout Paradise. This is not the new 4K model or 4K version of the game. Uh, this is the original one made back in, I think it was 2009. A super fun game. If you guys haven't played it yet, it's, I think it's pretty cheap, 10, 15 bucks on Steam. Uh, Anyways, it runs really nice and smooth. This is running on one of the higher settings, and I was surprised it did equally well uh, when the Surface Go was unplugged. So I'll let you watch just a minute, and uh, you can see just how smooth it plays. I have a uh, Xbox One uh, Bluetooth controller plugged in uh, as well. So I didn't think this would work at all. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because the Surface Go is, is such a light, small device that I, I have no expectations for it, and so I'm therefore more impressed, or, or what it is exactly. But uh, this is running uh, the Tomb Raider. Um, this is the 2013 version, not Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, the one before that. And... Uh, this Rise of the Tomb or this one, uh, Definitive Edition, uh, actually doesn't run as nicely as the the Rise of the Tomb Raider because it's uh, Direct X eleven, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is Direct X twelve. Well, and its capabilities Direct X twelve, and this is actually running quite well. Uh, and here you can see the controller, you Bluetooth controller, I have plugged in, but it's running actually quite well it's, it's definitely playable which again like i said i'm i'm shocked you can see it's got a you know the minimum frames per second is a little low but this is set at at uh, normal settings i do the same test here uh we'll speed this up but the same test uh done with it unplugged and normally when you unplug a device uh, the frame rates drop uh in this situation that was not the case is actually quite uh, significantly higher. And who knows why that actually was, but anyway, that's, that's how it worked. Because the Surface Go is uh, such a small device and the screen so small, having a lower resolution like I have set here uh, really actually still looks good which is great because it's it's not a super powerful device so being able to play games on the small device and it look good and play smoothly um and it just it works better definitely better than i was expecting uh, now i should point out I, I probably have tried uh seven or eight games that did not work uh on the device just when it load and i, I think there's probably some settings some tweaking and different things that you could do to get uh, more games compatible with the Intel HD 615 um, integrated GPU in, in this device, but I wasn't willing to take the time to uh, demo that and go into all that detail. Um, one thing I would like to share is that we we do have a gamepad, a touch gamepad in um, Tablet Pro software, and it's is decent it's not fantastic but for some people it works well enough for them i'll demo that here in a second uh ori uh also definitive edition so i'll show you how to move the buttons around and adjust things in the gamepad uh, and you can watch ori playing on the surface go So this feels better to me.
I don't have all of the controls on here. If I wanted to add um, more controls, I could. Oh, that's that. Uh, go into here. And uh, I'm running this off of a USB C drive uh, where I've installed Steam directly there so I can take this, I can take this out and plug it into my Surface Book and it'll work. All right, so if I wanted more controls here, I can select different ones. Obviously, Ori needs a few more than this. So if I wanted, um, like the right trigger, I could add that in here. And then if I want to move any of these buttons, just turn on the mouse mode and move it there. Now there is a little bug that we uh, hope to fix sometime soon, but aren't, aren't there yet. Is sometimes when this loads back up, it, it loses its position and you have to, you have to reposition it. So I used the USB-C drive and I've set that as the destination for Steam when you install Steam. And uh, this part took a long time uh, when I started to install uh, one of the games from my library. Uh, it was like five or ten minutes to allocate the uh, storage space for the game. Um, so be prepared for that. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Until next time, stay creative.